One thing that is certain is that Jesus is not ignored in today's culture. As a matter of fact, we have books being written about him. We have television specials that have to do with Jesus. The problem is, however, he is demeaned. Too often, he is slandered. Take, for example, the idea that Judas actually did Jesus a favor when he denied him. That's what the Judas document claims, and many people think that the claim has validity. Or a more modern idea, namely that the bones of Jesus were placed into an ossuary in the family tomb in Jerusalem. Well, on and on it goes. Oprah Winfrey says that Jesus is one way among many, that there are many different options when it comes to God. And so as we look at the landscape, we can see that Jesus is much talked about. The reason that these lies are so harmful is because they cause people to doubt the Christian faith. Even genuine believers begin to have doubts regarding Jesus, and those who are seekers think to themselves, well, there's really nothing here for me to believe. How do we discern truth from error? From the standpoint of history, from the standpoint of theology, and from the standpoint of reason. We have to be able to do that if we are going to defend Christ against all of these slanderous ideas. When people read the book, I want two responses. First of all, on the part of Christians, I want them to be affirmed in their faith and to know that we have a reason to believe in a Jesus who actually can be a savior. But second, I want the seeker to understand that despite all the options out there, they must ultimately grapple with the fact that in the New Testament, we have God in the flesh who did miracles to prove it, and Jesus cannot be ignored. I want to confront people with the real Jesus, even as we show the error in those who would slander him. When you look at this book, the important thing to realize is that it deals with the very essence of our faith. This is what we believe, namely the deity of Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus, the historicity of the New Testament. There can be no other subject that should so grip us. And the need out there is great. Our responsibility is to help people to defend the faith with intelligence, with integrity, with accuracy, and of course, with grace. This book represents the heart of my ministry, because after all, at the end of the day, everything is about Jesus, the Jesus of the New Testament, who is able to save us from our sins.